Okay, today I'm going to show you how to create a master data table. Then you can try that one. Later we'll show you how to create transaction data table. So you can create your own tables also in a ERP site. Okay, if it is required, but it is not mandatory. If it is required only for training purpose, I'm creating. In real time, this will be created by the other team, like Ava Powers and all this stuff. As a BW consultant, you might have not have access to create all these things. But training purpose, you have to learn everything. So let's create a master data table. Eleven. Press enter. It's going to ask you what table you want to create. Let's say I want to create ZMD master data table underscore 7 a.m. Okay, so what do you want to do? You want to display, you want to change, or you want to create? I want to create. Click on create. The delivery class is first you need to enter the description. Let's enter description. Sales master data. master data table okay so what is the delivery class delivery class is what type of table it is it is not I'm, I'm not talking about data I'm talking about what type of table this table is application specific so let's select a delivery class is a a means what application data table either it is might be master data or transaction data but it is application specific okay so data browser or table view maintenance, yes, it should be allowed. Display or maintenance should be allowed. Okay. Once I've done this, there is a tab called fields. Click on a fields. There I need to enter my fields. There is a two option, predefined or non-predefined. If I click on a predefined, then it is required. You need to enter data elements. We'll come to this. What is a predefined later? Now let's say that master data is not a predefined type. Just click on that button, it will become off. That goes. Now what happens is I have a data type length here itself. If it is a predefined type, the data type length should be entered in somewhere else, not on the same screen. That is a change, that is a difference here. Let's say field. What field you want to enter? Let's say I want to enter, oh you have already Z SMID. Let's say SMID. What is the data type? Character. What is the length? 10 digit. What is description? Salesman ID. Very good. Then, yes name. Character. Length 10 digits. Salesman name. Then let's say Z on Z. Yes, H. Salesman H. Numeric. Two digits. Enter. Then let's say that sales file address character twenty sales file address. Once you've done this one, then what I need to do? Click on save. When I click on save, it is going to ask me package. You remember where have we created a package, guys? Yesterday. Day before? Yes, Kevin, yesterday we have created a package. We have created a package. What is a package name I have created? Any idea? 7 AM? Uh, yeah, 7 AM, yeah, something. 7 AM only. Yeah. But uh, 7 AM, what is the request? Yeah, 7 AM I have request here. This is my request for 7 a.m. Yes. Yeah, okay, done. This is only one time you have to select. Once so you select only one time, the next time automatically package will display whatever the selection you have done. It says application should be a client specific. <coughs> okay, once you've done this one, then what I need to do? I need to specify what type of data you want to load in this table, whether the master data or transaction data. Then go to a technical settings. I have a data class here. Then select this. APPL0 is a master data. APPL1 is a transaction data. Let's select APPL0. Then what is the size category? How many records you want to load? 
this is a list I have from 0 to 9. If it is a 0 to 9, there's a 9 is lost. If it is a 0, 7300 records I can load. Okay, then 1, 7000 to 29000. It's up to you how many records you want to load. Once I select it, click on save. Then go back. Now click on activate. When I say activate, it is going to display a screen what you done. I have created a table. It is going to display what is your table name. That is called active, activation task. Enhancements. Okay, specify a primary key. That's not an active. Okay, we have not specified the primary key. Okay, let's check once again. Now there is no errors. Only warnings are there. What is a warning? Enhancement category for table type is missing. Okay, I can fix up what is an enhancement category. It should be allowed enhancements. What I can do, okay, go to the extras menu. There is an option called enhancement category. Click on continue. Can be enhanced. This table can be enhanced at any time. Simple select it, click on activate now. Now you don't get any error message. My table is ready. This is how you can create a table in the ERP system. So once your table is ready, then what I need to do? I need to add the records into this table. There is no option called loading. You need to add only. It is not a BW. It is a ERP system. It is running very slow. So it is my table is activated now. Then what I can do? Click on back button. Okay. So what I need to see? Click on display. Click on content. If I see the content, it will display there is no records available in this. Why? We have not created any record. We have not loaded any records here. What we did? We simply created the structure. Can you see no table entries found? Okay, go back. Then what I need to do? Select this display. There is an option called utilities. Click on utilities. Select table contents. Then there is an option called create entries. Now it is going to ask you to enter your data. So what is the data I want to enter here? SMID S1 name for example Korea Kiran enter this age address click on save you want to enter one more reset s2 Kumar one more enter reset s3 say Raj Gupta some age so let's say Bangalore. I have three records. Save this. Go back. Click on technical. It click on contents. Click on execute. Please observe that I have created the data here. This is how you can create your master data table. Fine. Then what is the next option? The next option is how to create a transaction data table. 
So we have done how to create a package. We have checked how to check what type of data, what type of table. And we have created a master data also. And we have entered the master data tables also. Okay. Once you've done this one, announcement category is done. Okay. I entered the data also. Okay. Creation of transaction data table. So I'm going to show you how to create a transaction data table also. Let's say that. Okay, PID, quantity, units, sales. What is the other one? Profit. Currency. This is my structure. PID, quantity, product ID, quantity, unit, sales, profit, and currency. This is a structure which I want for my transaction data. Okay, let's create a transaction data. Okay, if I want to create a table, what is the transaction code? Who is going to provide? Sai. What is the transaction code good to create a table, Sai? Can you hear me? Okay, Raj, what is the transaction code? SC21 something. Uh, oh, <laughs> not SC21. Uh, 11. Uh, SC11. Nah, okay, okay, yes. I was just confusing. Confusion, sorry. Yeah, that's why I asked you. Okay, SC11. Okay, we have created just now, we have created a master data, right? The same way. Okay. Z transaction data table underscore 7 am. Click on create. Delivery class. Okay, first enter the description. Transaction data table for 7 a.m. batch. Delivery class. Application specific. Maintenance is allowed. Go to fields tab. Please remember, I'm using a predefined type here. How? What is the difference in a predefined type? See, predefined type, it is not. You can enter the data type here, length here. If it is a predefined type, you need to create a data element, data domains, lot of things are there. We'll see what are those things. First, enter what is a PID. You already created a PID. Okay. Let's say Z PID. Okay, enter Z PID. Then say, this is going to be data element. Z PID. Oh, I have already data element. Hmm. What is the other name I can give? ZPID, let's say 7, underscore data element. Press enter. So it creates one data element. Once it created data element here, you need to double click on it. If you double click on it, it is asking, do you want to edit? Yes. The package you want to select 7 a.m. batch. Yes. Request is 7 a.m. batch. Yes. 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 Now it is asking what is a that this said say this. This is a product ID data element. What is a data element? Nothing but you need to specify what is a character type, length, and data types. That is called data element. Data element. Now I need to create one domain. Any any name you can create. What is this domain? The domain contains a data type, length, decimals, and all this stuff. That is called domain here. It is like a round kind of you know the process. It is not a shortcut, short way. It is a long process. But finally I am creating same data types and everything. Simply they have given one like a data element and they have given one domain. It's a lengthy process. Otherwise I can use that you know non predefined type how i created a master data that is a short, that is a straightforward i can enter the data type there itself but here you can do like this also come here domain what is a domain let's say product id underscore dm product id 
7 underscore domain enter ah, now you need to double click on this domain it will go inside the domain okay product package this is a request select you want to create yes okay oh my god it is asking access key 366 okay 366 87 87 66 66 322 322 126 26 127 127 uh, uh, 322 126 322 126 no you are giving one more to extra after 3 uh, kiran 322 126 126 127 8694 8694 who has given this uh, no actually long back when i was uh, uh, practicing this uh, BPC as per the BW thing, I just got uh, this particular key. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Maybe the, it's not uh, the. Uh, I think uh, all the systems it won't be the same. It is incorrect. No, no. Uh, oh yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's that's guys are not available today. I'll do one thing. We'll check uh, this and we'll continue later. See, right now we are pending with the creation of transaction data. It should not ask me. Actually, it should ask in the beginning only we have entered one key. But again, it is asking for transaction data table only. Oh. Mm. Okay. Okay, by the time Friday you come, we'll ask them to fix. I'm taking a screenshot also this. Okay. Then I'll send it to this. Okay. Thank you guys, I'm sorry for this and we'll meet on Friday.